Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the cat command. So let's get started. Okay, the first step you want to take is to open up your terminal, and you can do this using the keyboard shortcut, which is holding Control and Alt and pressing T, or you can open it up from the GUI, and you'll get a window like this. So the cat command, spelled C-A-T, which is an abbreviation of catenation, or catenate. And that is a synonym of concatenate, which means to arrange a string of characters into a chained list. And that's what cat does. So let's run it and see what happens. Okay, we've got a flashing cursor instead of the prompt, which generally means we can enter some text or do something with the keyboard. So let's type hello cat. And hello cat is printed back out to us. So let's try something else. Same again, and again, and it will keep going like this all day. So it looks like cat just echoes things to us. Now that's strictly not what it does, but that's what it's doing now because we haven't told it to do anything else. So cat is taking input from standard in, which is our keyboard, and printing it to standard out. So if we decided to give it something else instead of standard in then it should print it out on the screen for us so to exit out of cat now we're just going to hold control and press d which sends an end of file command and i'm going to use some commands we've used before just to find something to print to the screen so let's see where we are okay and let's change directory to the desktop and see what's there using ls. Okay, so let's type cat hello world.txt. Now, just remember that everything in the terminal is case sensitive and you always need to have the full file names. So that includes the extension at the end. So let's see what happens now. Okay, so it's printed out what's actually in that file. So let's confirm that, because the file's just here on the desktop. And there we go. It's printed the contents of the file to the screen. OK, so that's just a quick view of what cat does. And it's a useful thing that it does. It allows us to look into files without opening up other programs. But that's not all it does. Once we get into redirection, you'll see that CATS is actually a lot more useful than it looks right now. So to jump ahead, you can just click on the arrows in the top right hand corner of the video and I'll cover redirection. So that's the end of that tutorial and I hope you learned something and thanks for watching. Goodbye.